Hi everyone, this is Dr. Jyoti Bala. I welcome you all on my YouTube channel. And this session, we will be trying to explore the difference between R and Python, especially for bioinformatics, and which platform is suited more. Let's see first the difference at the functionality level. If you talk about the R, which is specifically specialized for statistical analysis and visualization of biological data, whereas Python is versatile language, mostly suitable for analytical data manipulation, machine learning, and integrating diverse bioinformatics tools. If you see these programming language at the ease of learning, R is quick to learn for statistical tasks, but may have steeper learning curve for non-programmer, while Python is a bit easier for the beginner because it has more intuitive syntax, making it accessible to both programmer and non-programmers. If you see the bioinformatic library, I provide a rich set of bioconductor package for genomic analysis and visualization. While Python offers BioPython, PyoPython Seek, and more libraries for diverse bioinformatics tasks. If you see the community in support, R is having strong community for statistical, but still smaller compared to the Python. Python is large and active community with extensive resources and libraries beyond bioinformatics. At the integration with other tools level, R is primarily designed for analysis, visualization, and integration might require more effort here. Whereas in Python, it is easily integrated with databases, web framework, and other scientific tools. And at the level of performance, R is a well suited for smaller data sets and statistical analysis, while Python is efficient for large data sets, analytical purpose, machine learning, and handling complex algorithms. If you specifically see about the biological and bioinformatics in community, R programming actually ideal for the biologists who are comfortable with statistical analysis and require data visualization. Well, Python is well suited for bioinformatics needing diverse tools integration and larger biological data analysis. For the biotech professional, R is being used for statistical analysis of experimental data. While Python is beneficial for professional who are exploring machine learning, automation, and data integration. At the level of future proofing, R programming provides means for statistical but might have limitation beyond data analysis, whereas Python is more adaptable for emerging trends like AI, ML, and product programming needs. So at the conclusion, we can say R programming is well suited for statistical analysis and focused data visualization. Whereas Python can be explored due to its versatility, integration, scalability, and broader skill development. Remember, the choice depends on your specific role and comfort level and long-term goal within the bioinformatics field. If any one of you are interested in learning Python and our programming language at the foundation level, you can contact us. I hope you have liked the session. Don't forget to like and subscribe the channel and do share these information among your scientific endeavor. Thank you.